Anyway, we beat her. And now we get to experience the last bit of this level, which actually isn't that far. If I recall, it's like one puzzle room and then like one room full of combat and then like three boss fights. <laughs> so, yeah, cocking up on the Mihail fight kind of dicks you over pretty hard if you're... Oh, God. Yep, this is that one puzzle that I hate in this level so much. Like, you know, aside from the fact that the entire level is designed as obtuse as possible, and there's that one thing you have to hit with lightning three times, and those other things you have to hit with lightning three times. But the point is, this is the one level that sucks, or one puzzle that sucks, because you're in a giant pool of lava. That giant pool of lava is too low to actually get you to those two platforms on the side, which you need to hit each in order to get to that main one. You would think you'd use the lava bomb to raise it, right? Nope. Firebomb, because as this game is establishing many a time, lava bomb is useless. Now I gotta use the firebomb. Holy crap, that's a bit, uh, bit warm. Nope, I guess that's... I thought it was, uh, two. Apparently it's one, I guess. That's weird. I, I thought you needed to use two. Anyway, yes, you can't use lava bomb to raise lava. That would just make sense. Let's try it again. Two? And then... Like, that looks like that should fit, but the bombs won't do it, so I guess it's one. But when you don't have it at that height, it looks too low. I don't know. Whatever. I don't care. I beat the boss. That's all that matters. Now I just gotta go beat a bunch of other bosses and get myself killed in the process. Because it's more of this running around on exploding <laughs> ice bombs. And that's... I have no idea how I survived that. I'm perfectly honest, no idea, and there's probably no way I'm going to be able to survive this. Because it's a time puzzle. You have to stop this thing, and then stop the thing on the other side. But, in order to do that, you have to get to the other side. And in order to do that, you have to go across the lava again. Which means... Whoa! They give you a lot of time to do it, but... Although they lock you into this room... So I, I think we're just going to wait this one out, but it's like, yeah, but can I just have a bunch of hearts or something? Because we all know that getting through lava with uh, ice bombs is a little bit of a risky proposition. Ugh. But yes, I finally beat Mihail. That was a fun hour to revisit. I don't know why we can't just, like, lob a bomb over top and just blow up the computers. Kick one under. Nope. Light bomb? I know how I'm supposed to do it, I just don't want to do it that way. Because it's, like, the worst puzzle in this room. In this game, because it's like, ah, oh, it's timed. I mean, at least they tell you what you need to do on, like, those stupid lightning puzzles, but... If I just hit that thing with lightning a bunch of times and break it like I did all the others... Nope. So we're just gonna sit here and wait, because... Well, there's no point. I think we're gonna die anyway, so... Might as well. Drop a bunch of lava... Raise the lava a bunch. Come on. I really don't like navigating lava with ice bombs. It's always a super risky venture. Especially when you've got bombs, like, as highly... Or you just completely cock up like that. But on the bright side, this means that we have all our health back. Unfortunately, this takes away another life, because I actually used one to, uh... Just before I got to Mihail, I lost all my health, which is fine, because I need to go into that fight with some health anyway. <laughs> Not that that's a hard fight, it's like, just avoid her insta-kill move, you're fine. It's getting that, uh, that one thing down that's tricky. Ugh! I hate this. Oh crap. I don't think I can make that. Nope. See, this is why ice bombs to cross bodies of liquid are stupid to deal with. Like, I, I'm not going to make any bones about it. I think we're going to this final fight with no power-ups whatsoever. 
just realistically, I think that's... And I'm supposed to use fire bombs there. I just don't think it's happening, because, uh... Well, this room's going to kill me with my own firepower. I'll be lucky if I can, uh... Get through this without dying completely. It's like, yes, I've got three bomb powers, but... The ice will melt before I get uh, three bombs out, so I kind of have to explode on the one I'm going to do, which will kill me. Fortunately, if I don't take any more damage, I should, and I want to use the word should as a highlighted term, be able to... Whoa, that's a lot closer than I'd like that to be. And if Bommy hadn't, uh, Bommy hadn't done something about that, I could have just taken that guy out pretty quick. I'm just going to let that go. Okay. Let's, uh, raise that. Stop the thing. And go, uh, deal with the other one and hopefully not get ourselves killed in the process. Which is always the trick. This is... This is one of the worst parts of the game, I think. Because, like, this is the only time to puzzle in the game. And it's awkward and it requires you to deal with not instantly dying. And if you have a relatively high amount of, uh, bomb power, you're probably gonna get yourself killed with your own firepower, or just how chintzy the ice platforms are. But, um... We will attempt to persevere. Okay. Now I gotta act quick, so I don't run out of invincibility. Like that. Crap. I gotta be patient. It's like, I gotta be quick, but I also have to be very... Oh, that's bad news. No, no, no! Okay. I think I can make this work. Maybe. Ah, uh, Lava room. Worst room in the level. I mean, yeah, there were other puzzles that were just obtuse, but this is just... This doesn't like you. This feels like it was made by, like, Sierra back in their point-and-click adventure days. Where, like, you take two steps in the wrong direction, they'll instant kill you. One bomb, not two. I'm... I'm bad at this level. I can at least meander through most levels. This level sucks for me. Ugh, I hate ice platforms on lava. Like, ice platforms on lava sounds like a bad idea to begin with, but... Ugh, man. Like, if the hit detection on the platforms wasn't too bad, it would actually be kind of tolerable, but it's just not very good. Okay, one... To come on, Ugh. like it, it, it's hard to judge like the depth of where those platforms go to. Like that one, I thought I had. I'm probably just gonna skip all this and like just cut to the other end because it's gonna take me so long. I remember this. Like this is the one thing I really remember about this level. This is one stupid. I'm not gonna make that, am I? And I did. Whoop. Whoop. See, this is ideally how you're supposed to do it, but it's like, unless you have really low bomb power, it's just not gonna happen. So, again, I, I guess I have to give them props for, like, having bits where you need to intentionally nerf yourself in order to play properly, which is, you know, an interesting concept. It's, it's more annoying than any- oh, crap, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Black holes in confined spaces. Not a good idea but I do it anyway, because the black holes are the best in this game. Alright. So, this time we might actually do it. The problem is, we then have to deal with what's on the other end of this puzzle, which is, of course, a boss gauntlet, and being unequipped or under-equipped is kind of a problem. Kick. I don't like that you have to, like, time this specifically or the lava doesn't rise either. That's just... That just seems dumb to me. I mean, the nice thing is they give you plenty of time. The bad thing is you have to deal with ice platforms, which are always awkward. I'm gonna plant one there. I'm not gonna be able to get to that. Oh! Please, please, please! Yes! 
Like, seriously, I have to pray to make it onto each one. It's like, I'm not a religious person, but please don't get me killed here. I think I've already sufficiently proven my incompetence during this playthrough and every playthrough I ever do. Please. Please make this work. I mean, on the bright side, we've got plenty of time. There we go. Now I just have to go hit that button, which means I'm going to skip fighting the enemies here, because I just have to hit the button. Boop! There we go. And now, I think all the puzzle bits are done, now it's just combat to the end, which is... Yeah, combat. And you know the important thing about combat is... I can crush my opponents into a quantum singularity. And that's the most important thing ever, I think. It's like, yeah... You clearly have that big powerful laser gun, I have black holes. <laughs> And provided I don't eat myself with my own black holes, I think I've got this. Uh. So, Dark Cloud 2 review just went out. I was, uh, like I literally just uh, put that out and went back to doing this, so. Hoping people are liking that, because I like Dark Cloud 2 a lot. It's sad I didn't get to capture any footage for Speeda because of, like, stupid reasons. Lots of stupid reasons, because that's, that review did not, that game did not want to be reviewed. Which is unfortunate, because I wanted to review it a lot. In fact, it's one of those games I wanted to review since I started, but I just sort of held off on max firepower. I don't think there's a max bomb power, though. Honestly, I'd settle for a speed up. I, I could really use one. Don't need gloves. I need speed. Speed! I'm so slow. Okay, yep. Combat room one. I believe there's one more combat room and then it's just a boss gauntlet. Whoa! I don't remember there being so many guys though. Which doesn't matter, I've got black holes. As we've established, black holes are the best. Yes, but black hole. <laughs> uh, again, giant robot, yeah okay, but black hole. <laughs> Boop. Boop. Now that I've cleared that area, I think I'm supposed to stand on that platform as, like, a elevator or something. And I will do that after I check the boxes for speed-ups. Health up. Yeah, fine. We'll go into the final fights really, really frickin' slow. Oh, also, we are about to see a very, very familiar place. If you've been watching any of these story bits. There's our old friend. You lost! It's probably because you didn't have your black hole powers anymore, because I still be a yeah, black hole bomb from you. Uh huh. You shouldn't have given it to me. Yes, yes, dark messenger guy. Also, he's got a red eye now, despite his picture having a blue eye. Also, why is it that my, uh... Well, I, I say text box, Bomberman doesn't text, but... Why does Bomberman's text box not reflect the fact that he has the, uh, super helmet now? That's always been weird. Also, why can't I just have his helmet? His helmet is way cooler. Also, why can't I just play as him? He's the best character. Oh, I think, uh... Yeah, he just, like, completely powers you up, which is awesome. Yeah! Super-powered! Thanks to Regulus! Not Bullzeeb anymore, it's going by his original name. Still not blue, though. He's now purple, still. Yes, yes. We still have that battle to finish that we never will finish because I never made a sequel to this game. I'm bitter as all hell about it. You can't use black holes! Only he can use black holes. And me, because I stole his ability to make black holes. You bastard! You stole his ability, too? Yeah, yeah, let's fight this guy. I like his laugh track, to be honest. Like, if, if I ever felt I needed to uh, do an evil laugh, I would just try and, like, emulate his laugh. Also, now we have to fight here. And then after this, we have to go fight him, and then we have to fight two more bosses. One of which I don't know how to fight. <laughs> it, it's gonna be a fun experience, because, uh, oh yeah, and, uh, plus, um, of course, we, we've run out of power-ups, so... If we die again, we lose all the super power-up we got, so that's fun. No super power-ups for us. So I guess we have to do this perfectly. And I think we have to go up here. No. 
Oh. Boop. Stop teleporting around. Only cowards teleport. Also, what? Okay. Also, Little Devil has three eyes. And aren't killed by instant death moves. Okay, time to go to the Ice Bomb plan. I call it Plan Ice Bomb. You'll never guess what it involves. Secretly, it involves lava bombs. That's the cunning of why it's called the Ice Bomb Plan. No one suspects that it would involve lava bombs. Now, we really need to clear this room because I'm pretty sure if we die here, we go back to the uh, stupid puzzle room that I don't want to deal with ever again. Okay, well, if I just keep chaining damage on these guys... Ow. Well, so much for my idea of just chaining damage on those guys. Please don't set me back to where I don't want to be. Please. Shit. Okay, well, good news. It seems like we only have to deal with... There were power downs here. That's annoying. Okay, well, anyway. It seems that the power's still out, so we can at least get across this relatively easily. Because we don't have to deal with any sort of timed puzzles. Like, I, I could probably get across this without taking any damage ever with full flame or, yeah, full bomb power, but it's like, yes, but it's the fact that I need to do all of that and I'm on a time limit that makes it hard. See, it's not too bad. Granted, I also have, like, no, uh, no, uh, flame power right now, so, you know. It could, uh, could be much worse. Still, we're very close to finishing the game. That's kind of exciting. Uh, one more? That looks right. I feel like if I add one more, I'm just gonna instantly die, because the lava's gonna come to my level. So we're just gonna... Just gonna... Just gonna... Can I make that, is the question. That was close. Didn't look like it. Alright. Whoop! Max power! I'm sure there's a song about that. I think that was a Simpsons song, wasn't it? Oh yeah, it's the name you mustn't touch, despite wanting to touch it. <laughs> uh, how many seasons are into The Simpsons now? I mean, it's, it, it stopped being good like 15 years ago, but... They still make it. They had a movie. It was a crap movie, too. I don't know. I like that they brought uh, Futurama back. Although they canned that again, too, didn't they? It's kind of a shame. I only watched, like, a few of the episodes on the uh, new season because we didn't get that in uh, Canada, I don't think. But uh, I watched a few of the new episodes online, like uh, the one where they go to, like, the uh, Leonardo da Vinci planet or whatever. That was really cool. Like, I, I liked uh, some of the stuff they did with the newer episodes. Oh, I get a uh, full power-up again. Yay. Can you go back to not dying when I lose to the next boss and have to, again, be revitalized probably in this room, please? I I'd like that a lot. If you could just be a peach like that, that'd be great. Okay. Again, black holing the guy who uses black holes. That's... That seems in bad taste. I would think he'd use, like, light power or something. Maybe he just has dark hole power or something. It's a good laugh. Okay, so we gotta go kill the stupid flamey mutts, and then these devil things that I don't know how to die. I like that these things die in one hit, though. It makes my life easier. Boop! <laughs> I booped you with my magic booping bombs. Okay, so... Black hole? Black hole heals them. That's interesting. Okay. Lava bombs! Or the ice bomb plan. That's actually not a bad idea. I think if you use, uh, light bombs, they, like, uh, morph into those weird, uh, crazy red ones. Nope, they morph into the weird, crazy red ones anyway. That's good to know. I think they get stronger and faster when they do that, so we're gonna avoid turning the other one to one yet, I think. Nice uh, assist by Pommy. That's uh, that's how it's done. 
Seriously, Pommy's actually being useful. Okay, now we use Blight on this guy, which should instantly move him to a second phase, I would think. Yep, and then we'll see if we can get Pommy to uh, freeze him while I nail him with a uh, lava bomb as part of the ice bomb plan, like I said. It's ice, it's lava bombs. You didn't believe me, but I was totally on top of it. Come on, Pommy. Where are you? Also, where's that? Whoa. I don't like that they just teleport around. That's... Oh, shit. That's bad. That's bad. I don't know how to deal with that. Okay, there we go. Okay, if you see a Reaper on top of me, that's actually a multiplayer thing. And the thing is, it'll, like, get big and start glowing and stuff. And when it does, it'll kill you instantly. So, yeah. That, that might be what killed me last time. I thought it was the laser. I don't know. Okay, so there should be something in order to get across from this. What the hell am I supposed to do? I mean, it's not coming. Do I have to leave and then come back, maybe? Oh, yeah. Or we can go down and look for more items. The thing is, if we go down and look for more items, I'm pretty sure we're going to uh, have to refight everything in this room, and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to take a sip of water, and we're going to go up. And hopefully that didn't sound too bad on the mic, but it probably did. So yay for boss gauntlets. We now have to go fight three bosses in a row. This room's kind of neat, though. I don't think I've ever lost to this boss. This boss isn't too bad. I think it's the next one that's pretty bad. Good music. I forget this song's even on the soundtrack sometimes. Yes, I can. And you want to know how I know that? It's a video game. I've got unlimited chances to win. You just have to screw up once. It's sort of like the inverse of that whole Superman argument. Oh crap. And now I don't have my remote. Weirdly enough, when he disabled my remote, he lost his red eye of death. Okay. So first step is to not use a stupid bomb. We're just gonna leave that there. He does stuff like that, by the way. Whoop. One. Whoop, that's a problem. Come on. I like that two of his attacks are literally the same thing. <laughs> he has one that makes the sword come down and one that makes the sword go up. That's it. Also, you're not that hard a boss, guy. You're really not. I'm thinking, like, the fire guy was a harder boss than you. Oh yeah, he's got an insta-kill move. I forgot about that. I don't care. I really don't care. There we go, see? Not a hard boss. I took a lot of damage because I'm stupid, but... Not that hard a fight. And, uh... Now we have to go to the second final boss. Where we have to fight, uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, he gets the crazy celestial bombs of death that don't give him actually the bombs, he just transforms into, well, himself for a minute, but then he transforms. Yes, yes. Celestial zone, something, something, exposition dump, don't care. Then he thanks me for collecting the bombs for him, and using the power from the bombs we already had to power himself up, I guess, so we secretly helped him. You know, the funny thing is, we destroyed the last uh, generator. We could have just left at that point. <laughs> and indeed, if we had, he wouldn't have been able to do jack all. <laughs> this game just uh, likes the fact that, uh, progression-wise, we had to essentially help him to defeat him. Anyway, now we have to go fight the power of, uh, what's his name? Sephiroth. Not to be confused with Sephiroth, although they come from the same term because it's all, uh, religious stuff. Except for Bullseeb, which is actually a star, although I'm pretty sure it's also referencing Beelzebub. Because Regulus was also a star, as was all the other, uh, bosses in, uh, the original Final Man 64. Also, I don't know how this is possible, but Pommy has totally grown a pair, but he still won't fight with me. 
So yes, this is this is a boss we have to fight now. And depending on what ending you get, you might have to fight a second version of this guy who's Okay, so he turns to ice. I think then you have to hit him with lava. Yep. This is the puzzle boss. The puzzle boss is after this. I'm just gonna leave this here. Just gonna leave that there. 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 There. And then I froze him to death. And then... Lava! See, the problem is, I don't know exactly how I'm going to beat the next boss with as little health as we have. I think this guy does actually drop hearts at one point, though. Which is good, because we could use those. Also, we could use a remote. Heart. Crap. Part of me thinks I should probably... Ooh, firepower. I don't need that though. I just need hearts. Need hearts. If you could uh, drop more hearts, that would just be the tits. Okay, well, I'm seeing green, which means probably wind. Yeah, okay, wind works. Stop. Uh. Oop. Come on, hearts, hearts, hearts. Part of me wants to just like try and farm him for hearts because I know we need him, but... Okay, so I'm hitting him with the bombs he's indicating he's weak to, but nothing's happening. So I'm gonna go crazy and just hit him with lava. Lava seemed to be kind of useful. Aside from the fact you can only drop one at a time and it's the worst bomb ever. Oh, I want that. Boop. Come on. You're supposed to be hurt by this, aren't you? Or am I supposed to pump it? Bump, bump. Whoa. Okay, there's Skippy. I don't understand. I just don't understand how he took damage from that, but not the other one. Power down. I don't want speed down. I want speed up. Also, this boss isn't all that hard, it's just, you know, trying to figure out what you're supposed to do to him at any one point. Am I just supposed to seriously kick bombs at him? I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that, but, whoa, I don't want to be there, and yet, there I was. Whoa, that was closer than I would have liked it to have been. Uh, I don't want speed downs, I want speed ups, you jerk. Yay! Whoop. Okay. Help! Up! Yes! There's another one. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no idea how we're going up against the last boss with this low health. Assuming we even make it that far. <laughs> but the fortunate thing is, even if we completely screw up, I've already effectively proven that uh, we're going to get the good ending because I beat Mihail this time, so that's good. Come on, I'm hitting you with the green thing you're indicating you're weak to, you jerk. New plan. I knew I was going to die there too, I just wanted to see if I could do anything about that. Okay, well let's try this again. I don't know why it starts me angled off and sort of... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like that they stir him off about as slow as possible, though. Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> Boop! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using lava bombs, they seem effective. Boop! <laughs> this is awesome. Whoops. Oh, that's not good. Well, it seemed to be equally as effective. 
boop. <laughs> Lava bombs. It's the way to kill this guy of the future. Fire up. Not useful since I'm using lava bombs. I do need that though. And indeed I will take it. I'm gonna swap to ice bombs just because I can get more of them out. Okay, I need speed. I need it now. Also, there's a heart. Also, enjoy a lava bomb. <laughs> yeah, I think lava bombs, it's like, okay, well, lava bombs have shown they're actually useful at some point in the game. That's stupid. Oh, come on. I just need speed ups and health at this point. Lava bomb. Whoops, I didn't want to kick that. I could still... No, that won't work out for me. Where'd you stop? Ooh, that's net positive is what that is. Whoop. Uh-huh. I'm gonna swap to this. See if we can get some more of these parts. And speed ups. Speed up! I'm okay with getting damage there, I just want some speed ups, because then I can avoid more damage and get more hearts later. So he's only taking damage from... Oh, that was me. That's okay, you can stay frozen for a minute. I'm gonna collect more power ups. Come on, give me more health. Speed up! I'll take that. Come on, explode, explode, explode. Crap. I'm moving as fast as I possibly can now. It's all about getting more uh, health. Come on. Okay, now he's not taking damage from lava bombs. This could be interesting. I mean, yeah, so I guess I just have to kick it at him or something. Heart. Oh, another heart, too. I'll take that. We can have that. And hopefully we'll get enough hearts to at least get relatively full on to take on the boss, because I don't want to... Because if you screw up the boss, you have to go back to here again. And, you know, that that's fair, I suppose, but... It's kind of annoying. All the same. There we go. Okay, now we gotta fight the actual final boss, which is a uh, puzzle. See, if you let me hail KO you, or you simply don't get the light and dark bombs, you have to uh, fight a super powered version of this guy. But if you get all the bombs, or more accurately, just the light and shadow ones, but you need the others to get to it, then you have to uh, fight the true final boss of this game. Which is a light bit harder, as I understand. I've actually never fought the uh, worst of the two bosses, so I can't really say. I've only gotten a good ending. But yeah, she uses light to defeat his darkness, and then they fuse back into the uh, angel of uh, creation slash destruction or whatever. And then we have to go and destroy them because they want to rewrite the entire universe or whatever. And... Well, everything gets destroyed if we do. Yes, yes, it's time for another exposition dump. That you decide to give us, telling you the origins of the Angel of Creation, which was in the intro. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I like the story, but come on, I've got things to do. And I'm sure I'm not going to beat this boss the first time. Alright, so let's stop the universe from being recreated or redestroyed or whatever is being proposed. And. See, the thing that confuses me is it's up to us to destroy them because she seems to want us to, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, or you could simply, you know, not do that. I mean, clearly we have all the powers, just let us go and, you know, universe is fine. 
Also, this is the final boss. Which, half its faith is withered away. Which is a bit weird. Yes, yes, an angel of light and shadow. Something, something. Something, here we go. I'm gonna pretend I remember how to fight this guy. Fire, so that means... I think that means he'll use fire as well. Yeah. I think the only thing that can damage him are either light or darkness. I think. Or you have to, like, damage him while he's flashing like that, maybe. I don't know. Like, as I said, I don't remember this boss at all. I remember he's hard and I lost to him about a dozen times before I finally managed to beat him the first time I did. Okay, that means flamethrower mode. If I go this way, it should be okay. And then with that... Crap. Yeah, I think I have to hit him with, like, light or dark bombs, but it's like, I can't get close enough to do that. That was how it, uh... Whoop! There we go. Yep, dark bombs did it. Problem is, like, light and dark bombs take forever to actually blow up. And once they do, you kinda have to deal with, um... Yeah, yeah, I think it is that you have to hit him while he's flashing, but, like, when he uses the earth move, it's super quick compared to the fire one. This could be a problem. <laughs> come on, 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 come on. Yes! Alright. That's two. I have no idea how many hits he takes. Probably like 20 or something like that. Also, stop moving after you've picked your attack. Just pick your attack, stay there, and let me bomb kick something at you. Uh, yeah, see, that's... That's annoying to deal with, because it's like, I don't know if I'm kicking in your direction or not. I can face you all you want, but you could be going directly behind me, I'll never know. Whoop. That's not in your direction at all. I'm surprised I survived that. I mean, at least I'm alive for the moment, which is good, but... Come on, come on. Yeah! That's three hits. I think he takes like 20. Like, no no joke, like 20 actual hits. There's four. Oh crap. He's doing the thing, and I don't want him doing things. Whoa! Okay. That's unexpected. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Five. Yeah, this is, uh, pretty intense. I'm probably not gonna talk for most of this. So I'm just trying to remember all his moves. Okay, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, he's, like, now combining two different elements at once, I think. So, as, as long as you get the elements, you're okay. But... Here we go. Fire. There's my spot. Kick the bomb. And that should explode. Yeah. Six. It should be fire and then ice, I think. Okay, I got this. Three, four. Kick that there. Crap. Oh, that missed. And like the last boss, we're not getting any, like, uh, fire and then wind. I don't know what wind is. Wind could be, like, that charging at me move, maybe. Yep, that's what it is! Kind of like the uh, dash move of the wind guy that gives him stupid amounts of invincibility. Okay, now it's going to be darkness and then... Or is it lightning? No, it's lightning. Oh, see, that was just bullshit. <laughs> I guess I'll... I'll be back here again in a minute. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, 
Alright, take two. I'm fully up on everything except health. I've got half health. I did try and uh, farm the boss for health, but he didn't, uh, didn't want to play ball. But uh, I, I think we got this. It, it's basically just know what the colors mean, know what they do when you combine them, and then hit him with a lightning bomb, or a darkness bomb, or whatever. Case of ice again. There we go. One. Two. Two. Oh, he likes me today. Three. I really like when he does that earth attack because I can beat it pretty freaking easy. Oh. Um, with that time. It looked like he was going with Earth. I guess it changed his mind. Oh well. Come on. Let's see what you got. Earth. Kick. Ooh, that's exactly where I need to be. Okay, now he goes crazy. I've lost Cam. That number, leave me alone. <laughs> Okay, lightning, then wind, which means he's gonna charge at me. After he does that stupid lightning move. Okay, I, I like when he does that wind move. So that means I can kind of predict what he's gonna do. Fire. Two. Four. I don't like that he moves, though. That's annoying. That ice move's a bit trickier, and it's stage two. What's your next move? Lightning, and then, uh, dash move. Okay. Got this. Oh, that's not gonna hit him. Crap. He gave me an opportunity, and I did not take it. Okay, fire, and then light. Or lightning, uh, wind. Woo! That gets easier to dodge if you go away. Enough. That. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's not close enough. I don't take into account the fact that he adjusts his, uh, the way he charges at you. Oh, I don't want to be here. There we go. Okay, that worked out for me. Fire the nice. Okay. And I, I can't even see where Bomberman's aiming because my microphone's in the way. I'm just kind of aiming and hoping. Okay, lightning and then uh, wind. Okay. Lightning I'm a little bit nervous about because of uh, how spread out the attack goes, but uh, I can handle wind pretty well. Okay, fire and ice. Ice is tricky because occasionally it'll do that like triple spread, which is really tough to dodge, especially since I can't see where I am. Last fire, and then yeah, that's uh, that's why ice sucks. Okay, fire and wind. I got this. This I can handle. Fire one, two, three, four, five. Plant that there, and that's not close enough, is it? Shit. I kind of miss uh, the original Bomberman 64 boss, where you could just pump a bomb and then you get knocked into a pit and die instantly. That was kind of neat. Is that close enough? Yes it is! Oh, he's powering up again. That's, that might be bad for us. Okay. Wind then light. Okay. Oh crap, that's not good. I can't hit you with something if I don't have, uh... I think Shadow Bombs are all I can use for it, so maybe I have to be real close for him. Okay, so... Lightning... Oh, triple ice. Haha! <laughs> That's actually easy. 
Okay, so lightning, wind. Lightning's still a bit tricky. Oh crap, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. And that, okay. I gotta be, I gotta vary up my strategy for this one. Let's, uh, let's do it. Okay, again, it's fire, then wind, then ice. It's, okay, you wanna stay as far away from him when he uses fire. Wind, and then move. And I'll throw that at you. And then that'll kill you. Good. Good, good. This is working out well for us, I feel. Which is good, because... Okay, now he's using... Earth, I think? Again, nothing too bad. Oh, he's extending his Earth attack now. Doesn't matter. Dark bombs last quite a while. That's why they're awesome. It's fire, then wind... And oh crap, he's in the middle this time. That's like the worst place for him to do that. Wind. And earth. Oh, and I whipped that. Ooh! I'm also at the edge of the stage. That's another problem. You can't see the edge of the stage. That that makes it a bit tricky. Okay. Fire, wind, and uh whoop, light. So go to your light thing and I'll put you there. That should do it. Yep. Good rhythm. We got this. We've got this. I gotta act super fast if uh, when he swaps to Earth though. So wherever you're going to do Earth, that's where I need to be. Because those things are currently stop the bombs. That's awesome. Haha, <laughs> he ran out of the stage too. Okay, so it's fire, ice, then earth. Ooh. Okay. Go that stupid triple! Damn! Did the stupid triple. But I have invincibility and I'm gonna use it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, has been Bomberman 64 Second Attack. Thank you for joining me this uh, Bomber Week. I'll leave you the ending. Peace out.